What better way to celebrate Halloween than to talk about a horror movie? And not just any horror movie, but a dark, surrealist horror movie that takes place in Walt Disney World. And not just a horror movie that takes place in Walt Disney World, but this one was filmed in several Disney parks without Disney's permission and even without their knowledge. That's right, Escape from Tomorrow is the film that has the Disney community up in arms, even though hardly anyone has seen it yet. It's only been shown at two film festivals, but a theatrical release is scheduled for October 11. You can see the official trailer, however, and here it is. I suppose I can get in trouble for showing it without the producer's permission, but that would be, to say the least, ironic. People come here because they want to feel safe. Bad things happen everywhere. Especially here. Can't be happy all the time. Something's wrong with Elliot. Kind of looks like a cross between Eraserhead, On Chien Andalou, and the Disney World episode of Full House, doesn't it? There's also a few official posters. There's this one, and wait for it, this one. I'm not sure this has anything to do with the movie, but who cares? Saul Bass, eat your heart out. Like many Disney geeks, I was offended when I read about this film. After all, I love the Disney parks, but director Randy Moore, apparently not so much. And to shoot the film in the actual parks made me feel personally violated. But then I thought, so what? The entire world of copyrights, trademarks, and use permits has gotten out of control in the United States. And to work around those issues would have required a huge budget and probably watered down the story until it was unrecognizable. Does anyone remember Westworld? It stunk! Besides, you know all of us Disney freaks are just dying to see this movie. Heck, I'll bet there will be an RADP meet. Could we see that poster again? How I love it so. The word seems to be that Disney isn't suing the producers of Escape from Tomorrow because that would only give the movie more publicity. But here's an idea. Far from suing the producers, perhaps Disney should embrace the film and license it for a new surrealist-themed land in one of the parks. After all, they've worked with surrealists before. They could call it, um, I don't know. One more time. 